What's going on everybody? In today's video, I found the article which was about four days old now. Uh, Pennsylvania man sentenced after scamming victim during sports card sale. So if you go back two videos ago, we hit the one from New York and I said I knew there were three arrests this past month. There was the New York one that I was told about. This Pennsylvania one, the only reason I heard about it because I'm from Pittsburgh. And we'll get into this here shortly. And I believe the other one, which we'll do a separate video on, was Illinois. Um, maybe if it's not Illinois, it's uh, Michigan. One of the two. But we'll cover that in a separate video just so we don't get everything, you know, pushed together. Especially with me having thoughts going every which way. So here, the victim is actually from Australia. So really a little bit longer of a commute or whatever you want to call it, distance between both buyer seller or the if they were trading, whatever it may be. So somebody from outside the United States ended up getting scammed and they went full force on this guy. So kudos, kudos. That's me doing a soft clap right now. You guys ain't going to hear it. But let's get into this just a little bit. So the victim I said was from Australia. And it says, Michael Benjamin was sentenced to incarceration in the Bradford County Correctional Facility for six months to 42 months, followed by probation supervision for a term of 18 months. So anywhere from six to 42 months, he's going to be in jail for doing this. And he's also going to carry 18 months probation. So with this here, uh, just in this article, I remember hearing about this last year, a matter of fact. It was, I don't know if it was in one of the scam groups or it was just, you know, one of the casual conversations that a bunch of us have. But it looks like the transaction was from January 2021 through June 2021. I'll put the link to this article in the description. You guys can just Google and there's like three or four different stories on this. So according to police, 419 pages of Facebook text took place between the two parties regarding the transaction. Same dates as I just said. In the messages, police said the victim sent a package to uh, Mr. Benjamin containing 17 high-valued basketball cards with a value of $15,000. Police also said that a large sum of money was transferred to the victim from the victim to Benjamin's PayPal account. So another PayPal thing. Man, they get them all over the place, I'll tell you. And yes, I'm dipping, Daniel. I'm dipping. Been a long day at work. <laughs> All right, so with that there, they said the whole total was $35,727.30. Craziness, right? A lot of money from a person in Australia to a person in Pittsburgh. And that's why whenever I do my larger deals, I ask people, do you know this dude? Hey, where do you live at? You live where? Hey, a buddy of mine's setting up at X Next Show. I'm going to send him my cards. We'll do a swap out, whatever it may be. Because stuff like this has happened way too much. Even prior to COVID, it was insane with some of the stuff. But let me see here. There was one piece here. Yeah, they had to get the warrant for the PayPal accounts. Da, 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 da. They all found every every transaction but one for 1801.88. So, you know, with this being said, these criminals who took advantage of so many people with sports cards are getting busted. It takes the victim to find a way to get this stuff done. You're a victim of it. Maybe your small little township can't do nothing on to it. Because, and this is if you're in the United States. If you're in some like small little town, like, oh, we don't have the manpower to it. And they won't take it at the, where you sent them to. Say you know the guy's address was in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And you call and they won't do it. Just keep going up. Somebody eventually is going to do it. You have, there's internet fraud places out there. Homeland, FBI. Somebody's going to take it depending on how much that stuff is out there. But this just shows people are doing the right thing. They're staying persistent until justice is served. Uh, really good seeing this stuff starting to transpire. It's taken a long time because it's got to build that record. But I think over time now, we've respun the will from the trim card days and uh, altered cards, uh, counterfeit cards. Which, as a matter of fact, the next video will be with counterfeit card arrest. But uh, 
I, I think we're going to start circulating it more because it's in more people's high, um, eyes, I should say, because of the amount of money that's flowing through. But again, link in the description, everybody. Just wanted to share this here today. Other than that, catch you guys next video.